Hello, uh, moviegoers. Well, I'm here to bring you another film. I'm looking at one of them that um, isn't very old, but I added up, it's about 42 years old, this film. This film was made in 1980. Stars, um, let's see. Kirk Douglas, uh, Martin Sheehan, that's Charlie Sheehan's father, okay. And there was, let's see, there's a couple of others. Uh, James Farantino and Catherine Ross. Okay, now, this name of this picture is called The Final Countdown. This is about um, an air aircraft carrier, uh, the, the USS Nimitz. Uh, remember, this is 1980, okay. So, this aircraft carrier uh, with uh, uh, two destroyers as their ships, their ships on, on, on the sides of them, were going through some kind of a freak storm. Now, um, uh, the storm was never seen before, okay? And um, in the beginning of the picture, uh, uh, they're bringing uh, Charlie Sheehan, uh, Martin Sheehan, I'm sorry, to the e aircraft carrier. And he's a systems analyst. He's going to look and see how things are done on the, uh, the aircraft carrier to see if he can improve anything uh, with, with that. So on their way there to the a aircraft carrier, they pass over a, uh, a, a fishing ship, but it was a, a Russian trawler, which is really a spy ship. So let me l let me continue here. So as the the, the storm uh, gets stronger, uh, it comes like in waves. It goes around and blinks and blinks. And eventually the ship goes through it. And uh, everything that was involved with the ship uh, went along. The two uh, destroyers were sent back before they went through the, uh, the storm. Now, when they came out of the storm, everything was clear. They lost all communications with Hawaii. Okay, so they were really on their own and they had to figure out what's going on, what happened, and what did they do from there? Now, um, they lost all the communications except old style AM uh, radio uh, with the news from World War II. Okay, about Germany and the war, the war with uh, uh, World War Two in Europe, and they don't understand what the deal was, you know, with that. Why are they going go going through 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 that? And they eliminated all the scenarios of of what it could be, and then they had to come to the re reality of this ship went back in time to December 6th, 1941. Now, uh, just to remind you young kids, because they don't teach anything in school, December 7th, 1941 is when J Japan attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii, which brought us into w w World War II in the Pacific. So I suggest you young people go back and look up these things. There's so much to learn that they decided that uh, you guys don't know. You guys don't need to know. Well, let me tell you, you do need to know it because it means a lot. You need to learn where this country started from. You need to learn what 
what guns have done to the country, had made this country. We broke free from from uh, 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 Britain because we had the guns and we, we can defend ourselves and protect what's ours. Okay, but I, I don't want to get into that way too deep yet. There's another movie for that. So, can you imagine uh, a 1980 uh, n n nuclear aircraft carrier back in World War II where the f fastest plane they had was going 380 miles an hour at top speed. We have, on on this is the F-14 Tomcats, which go Mach 2. Mach 2 is almost, I think it's, let's see, that's two times the speed of sound. Speed of sound is 500 miles an hour, so it's fast, especially at that time. Now, how can how can that happen? Uh, that they can go back go back in time? I don't know. It's a freak of, 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 of nature. But think about this: this aircraft carrier going back to World War II all by itself. I watched. Um, a, 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 a talk show with Kirk, Kirk Douglas and a few, a few, 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 a few others, and they said they had found out that if this ship ever, ever went back in time, okay, um, it would have reduced. Well, let, let me change that. Reduced would have destroyed. The Japanese fleet and all its airplanes and everything that was there in 10 minutes. That's how much this ship would have, um, have um, done back in World War II. Um, so they go back in time, and uh, um, I don't want to give it all away because I don't want to give away the ending because it pissed me off, but that's another story. So um, they go back, and they see the, uh, the, uh, the Japanese fleet, which was all they had. The Japanese had all they had. There were 382 planes that attacked Pearl. On December seventh, nineteen forty-one. So, uh, I suggest you watch this movie. Okay, at the bottom of the description, I found this. That you can you can watch this for free. It's there, and it works. And just a little bit of history with that. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, it's on. Let me see. Was it Tubi? Two, two I believe it was. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. My uh, my brief uh, d description, and I don't want to give away the ending, and I could, and I won't. This is a great film. It's a war 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 war, 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 war movie, and um, and it goes quick, and I ho hope you will enjoy it. And with that, I uh, I wish a great day, and I don't know when I'll I'll I'll, I'll make a, make another one. There's so many, so many. Um, so with that, I'm gonna go, and you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Take care. Oh, sorry. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. Thanks, guys. Take care.